Hey friends, welcome back. If you use a Mac, you've probably wondered this. Should I use Word or Pages? They both make documents, but each has its own strengths and quirks. Today, we're going step by step. Opening, formatting, adding media, exporting, collaboration, performance. And yes, I'll show you all the latest new features too. By the end, you'll know exactly which one fits you better. All right, hey, let's jump in. Press Command plus Space. Type Pages. Hit Enter. Now do the same for Word. Pages opens up with a clean, calm template chooser. Everything feels light, focused, distraction-free. Word opens with templates and recent documents too. But you'll instantly see more options. That big ribbon toolbar across the top? It's packed. Home, insert, layout, review, all there. Pages keeps it minimal. Toolbar at the top and a clean sidebar on the right for formatting. If you like a simple workspace, Pages feels refreshing. But if you want every tool visible up front, Word gives you that control. Next, templates. In Pages, click New You'll see these beautiful templates. Reports, flyers, letters, even books. They look modern, clean, almost print-ready. Now in Word, click New from Template. Here you'll find business, academic, and professional layouts. They're structured, detailed, and built for consistency. So, uh, if you want something that looks amazing out of the box, Pages wins. If you're creating long reports or need structured sections, Word is more powerful. Now let's type a bit. Start writing in both. In Word, all your text tools are right there on the ribbon. Font, size, alignment, and styles like Heading 1, Heading 2, Normal. In Pages, those same tools sit neatly in the sidebar. It feels a little lighter. Here's a cool thing. In Pages, you can select multiple bits of text at once. Just hold Command. That's called non-contiguous selection. Super handy. In Word, heading styles are your best friend. They keep big documents organized and they're great for a table of contents. So if you're doing essays, reports, or research, Word still has the edge. For shorter or creative pieces, Pages keeps things simple and clean. Let's add some visuals. In Pages, it's super simple. Just click Media and choose your file. Or honestly, just drag it straight from Finder. The moment you drop it in, it snaps into place beautifully. On the right, the format sidebar pops up with all your layout tools, wrap, anchor, shadows, and more. In Word, it's a bit more structured. Click Insert, Pictures, Picture from File, then place it where you want. To fine-tune it, use Layout Options or Wrap Text. It's not as fluid as Pages, but it gives you really precise control. Perfect if you want everything aligned perfectly. Now Tables. In Word, go to Insert. Table, pick your rows and columns, and then go wild with the Table Design tab. Borders, colors, shading, you name it. In Pages, it's lighter. Hit the Table icon on the toolbar. Pick a style and you're good to go. It looks clean right away, no heavy formatting needed. For shapes and charts, Word gives you tons of built-in options under Insert. Shapes. Great for structured layouts. Pages, it's a little more playful. You can drop in shapes, charts, or images, then layer them, send backward or forward, and make it look more like a design piece than a spreadsheet. And here's what's new. In Pages, Apple made copy-paste with Freeform smoother. Moving layouts between apps feels more natural. Meanwhile, Word got better session recovery and some design tweaks to make editing less clunky. Bottom line? If you're working with charts, data, or complex tables, Word's your powerhouse. But if your focus is visual storytelling, flyers, posters, or creative layouts, Pages gives you way more freedom. And it just feels smoother on a Mac. Now, collaboration. In Pages, hit the Collaborate icon at the top. 
Invite via Apple ID or just share a link. It works great across iCloud and Apple devices. In Word, click Share, then invite people or copy a OneDrive link. It's built for teamwork across Mac, Windows, and the web. Both support real-time editing, comments, and tracked changes. Word's version is still more mature, especially for Teams mixing platforms. If everyone you work with is on Apple, Pages is super smooth. But if you're collaborating with Windows users, Word's the safer bet. Exporting and sharing next. In Pages, click File, Export To. You can export to Word, PDF, or even EPUB. In Word, File, Save As. Choose from DO, CX, PDF, RTF, and more. Pages can open Word files and Word can open just about anything. But what formatting can sometimes shift when exporting, so always double check after saving. For Cloud Sync, Pages uses iCloud Drive, Word uses OneDrive or Microsoft 365. If you're sending docs to clients or Windows users, always export from Pages as a DOCX or PDF. Now the advanced stuff. Word is getting really smart. Microsoft's adding Agent Mode, an AI that helps you draft and format text automatically. It also has strong reference tools, macros, and mail merge. Pages, on the other hand, now has built-in writing tools. You can rewrite, summarize, or compose right inside the document. No extra plugins. It also supports multi-selection editing and shortcuts automation on Mac OS. So, if you want deep AI-powered writing, Word is ahead. But if you love lightweight built-in creativity, Pages is catching up fast. Performance check. Open activity monitor. Look at CPU and memory use. You'll see Pages runs lighter, especially on Apple Silicon. It's smoother, snappier, and uses less battery. Word runs fine too, but with big documents or add-ins, it can eat more resources. So if you're working on a MacBook, Pages usually wins on battery life. How about mobile? Pages on iPhone and iPad feels native. It syncs instantly with your Mac through iCloud. Layout stays perfect, even on smaller screens. Word's mobile version is also great. Works on iOS, Android, Windows, Web, all synced via OneDrive. Both work offline and sync when you reconnect. So it's really about what ecosystem you're in. Now for design freedom. In Pages, switch to Page Layout Mode. You can move text boxes, images, and shapes anywhere. It's like using a mini design app. Word can do it too, but it's more rigid. The grid layout keeps things in line. Better for consistency, not so much for creative freedom. If you make brochures, posters, or visual projects, you'll love pages. For structured text-heavy docs, Word's still the pro. Let's talk cost. Pages is completely free. It comes with Mac OS and updates automatically. Word usually needs a Microsoft 365 subscription or a one-time purchase. But with that, you get OneDrive, Excel, PowerPoint, a full suite of tools. Word's updates roll out often and Apple keeps refining Pages design too. So both are evolving quickly. One toward AI, the other toward seamless creativity. All right, and let's wrap this up. Use Pages if you want work mainly on Apple devices, want clean visual documents, and love simplicity, speed, and built-in writing tools. Use Word if you collaborate with Windows users, need advanced formatting, plugins, or citations, or you're excited about Microsoft's new AI features. They're both great, just built for different people. Pages feels like a creative studio. Word feels like a professional office. Choose what fits your world best. That's our full comparison. Up to date for 2025. If this helped you decide, drop a like, hit subscribe, and tap that little bell so you don't miss my next Mac and iPhone tips. Tell me in the comments. Are you Team Word or Team Pages? I'd love to know. See you in the next one. Bye.